What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be doing something different, something that you have maybe never seen before and that is how to insert section details into your floor plans. Now this is something that you have learned a while back. I actually went to high school that's kind of specialized for architecture and construction uh, and uh, that's just a concept of high school education in my country and there we have learned about these floor plan sections where you, uh, where you insert them uh, basically a floor floor construction section that you insert into your floor plan uh, just a small segment like a small strip of your section uh, which shows just what type of a construction is used and you can see that in the floor plan it's really interesting it can be really useful and I haven't seen it since uh, while working in actual uh, real world or when working on in university so this is something that they have uh, seen it's uh, it looks quite interesting so I thought why not try to recreate that in Revit and maybe it might be useful for you. So that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. Before we start with that, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to subscribe. I make multiple uh, tutorials on Revit each week and also I have some beginner, intermediate as well as advanced courses on my website balkanarctic.com so make sure to check it out it's going to be the first link in the description also the second link in the description takes you to my patreon page you can see some of my advanced courses over there as well as all of my Revit project files over 500 files uh, so far so make sure to check it out if you're interested okay so without any further ado let's get straight into Revit and here we are in Revit. This is the project that I'm going to be using for this demonstration. This is the uh, single family home that I have a whole five hour course where I show you everything uh, in detail, how to create a a plan that looks like this and all of the project documentation. Uh, if you're looking for this whole course, it's available on my website. That's going to be the first link in the description. And also if you're looking for the uh, project file that is going to be on my Patreon, that's the second link in the description. Okay, so now let's get started. Uh, now for this, what we need to do first is to create that section detail for the uh, kind of the roof construction. So what I'm going to be doing is now getting here to sections. Let's open up section one. This is what we're going to be using. And then what you want to do is, of course, to right click and then duplicate this section. So uh, we're going to be creating another one uh, where we're going to be, which we're going to be using for uh, for this presentation. Now, you may have noticed when here I want to duplicate view, I went with just regular duplicate, not duplicate with the detailing. And that's why we don't really have any detail elements. Here we have all of the dimensions and the detail elements. Here we don't have that and that's exactly what we want. Uh, next we have to change the crop region for this. Uh, so just navigate here to the properties panel, scroll down a little bit and then under extents we have the crop region visible which we can just turn on and then we can just resize that. So I'm just going to resize it so it kind of in includes the uh, top here and the bottom just like that. So that's uh, actually everything that I want to include in this section. I can pull it in here on one side as well as the other side. And now for the annotation, I actually want to hide the section, hold the control key and add the uh, grid lines as well. Okay, that kind of selected the roof as well. So let's just hold the, the, the control key and add all of the, all of the little uh, grid lines as well as the section and then navigate here to the view, uh, view panel and then go to hide in view, open up the drop menu and go to hide elements. So now we're left with just the kind of the section as well as the roof level. Now I wanted to include this because it does indicate the height, uh, which I think is very, very important. Uh, also, now we can just go here to crop vision region visible and just uncheck that and turn that off. Perfect. Okay, now let's place this into our floor plan. Uh, so for that, what you need to do is you need to go here to the project browser. Uh, let's go here to technical plans. And here, as you can see, we have our plan. But uh, this uh, this one has a lot of detailing, so uh, I, I don't want to mess it up too much. So what I'm going to do uh, is go here to the floor plan and I'm going to duplicate this one as well. So just right click and duplicate view, but I'm going to duplicate this one with detailing. Usually these plans are 
are quite detailed so you, you want to keep the details but we're just going to get rid of all of the elements that are going to be in the way so as you can see the section cuts through this part here so that's basically where our uh, kind of cut section is going to our construction section is going to be located so what we need to do uh, now is uh, basically just place this on a sheet so let's scroll down a little bit here in the project browser, uh, find sheets, right click, new sheet, and let's use the A2 metric. There we go, perfect. So on this sheet, we want to place our floor plan Ooh, copy. Place it there. Okay, it's quite large. Maybe we should have used the a0 metric, yeah, I think this works better. Perfect. Okay, so here we have our sheet, and then uh, and then we have our floor plan on that. And now let's find our section, and then uh, let's transfer that as well. And here let's go to the view title and just go with no title. This is going to get rid of that title in the bottom. And next, you want to just move this into position. Uh, now to make it easier, you can, can just make sure to zoom in, and then you can just make sure that it overlaps perfectly and uh, more you zoom in the finer the changes are going to be so you can really really pinpoint that so now if I zoom out as you can see it looks like it's overlapping perfectly we can play around uh, with the positioning a little bit but this seems to work and then uh, finally we have to adjust our floor plan so for the floor plan what you want to do is just double click here and then that goes into the edit mode for the floor plan so we're basically editing the floor plan even though it's already placed on the sheet so that's how this works uh, so next you want to go to the properties panel and go to crop region visible turn that on for that floor plan and then you have these little marks here on top and bottom this allows you to kind of get rid of the middle of the floor plan which is exactly what we want to do and then we want to kind of make sure it stops here and then the bottom stops right there maybe we can bring it a bit further up and this one bring it a bit further down but yeah I think this works just double click out of that, select the section, move it up a little bit perhaps. Yeah, perfect. Go back to the floor plan and then we can just uncheck crop region visible and then also we can zoom in. Uh, for example, this detail line, we can get rid of that one, this one as well. Uh, here the table, uh, we can hide that one. Uh, now make sure that detail elements you can get rid of those you can delete those but the model elements you don't want to uh, delete those so here for example for this uh, just this dimension line uh, we can uh, simply uh, go here and edit the witness lines and just make sure it stops uh, here perhaps so we can just now click an empty space so we do want to keep that dimension line but it doesn't see, seem right to go here through the window because we can't really see where the window ends so that makes sense we can delete this the, here maybe move the dining area tag a bit up here something like that so you can play around a little bit make sure that everything looks correct and that the uh, that the section isn't too intrusive and once you're done you can just double click out of that and there we go so now we have our section which is inserted into our floor plan now of course you can play around a little bit further uh, but I think it looks fairly decent so if you want to represent your uh, floor plan construct or your floor plan construction or your floor construction or roof construction inside of your floor plans it's not that common uh, these days but uh, from what I know from older architects this was kind of popular especially with construction plans etc so I wanted to create a tutorial where I show how to do something uh, like this. So hopefully you have enjoyed the tutorial. Then tell me in the comment section uh, below, uh, and also tell me if you have any questions, maybe comments and suggestions how this can be done more efficiently. And also make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video. It helps me out a lot. And check out those courses, project files, and if you're interested in my personal Revit template, it's available as well on my website. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Okay.